Welcome back everybody, I am C-Money, I'm a Grandmaster Level Risk Global Domination player, and today we are playing some Progressive World Domination on the classic map. We're playing with Unstable Portals, as well as Fog, but no Blizzards. We have a 7 in the middle of the board, which is ma actually pretty massive. We're out of the second position. So the 7 in the middle of the board, we have a 1 on the left hand side. I'd prefer to keep that position if I can. I think the strategy is going to be to... Tr well, uh, I actually don't think I'll be able to keep, keep that with how much material of whites we see. Blue is going to go for Australia, it looks like. We watch him whack a 2 with no losses of orange. So we're not going to get involved there. Here is what we will do. I will attack down here. I'm not even going to bother adding over here. We'll add two here, one here. Attack down here. And save that singular troop into that position. Just to save one more troop. Try to preserve as much as we can off of the start in this game but no real leeway up in the upper left which is a little bit unfortunate i figured i would lose this position we're not on a portal right now which is not the end of the world the goal here was let let a little bit of yellow's material shake out um so that i can group these two stacks up on my next turn and play a two position game for the remainder of the game. Yellow probably sits on that attack, groups up here, as expected, and this is perfect because we can sit on this portal and the next turn gain a little bit of vis visibility around the board to see uh, where everybody is. We don't. We only see one of red's territories, so there's gonna be a lot of red in North America. Orange is a bot, so Orange had that two whacked and has botted out. That is interesting. So the players in our game, let's get through them real quick. The blue player is Canadian Recon, playing under the first position from Canada. I'm C-Money, Grandmaster level player in the second position from the United States, playing as Green. The yellow player, General Sugimoto, from Guadeloupe, is in the third position. We have the orange player, General Key, from Germany, in the fourth position. They have bought it out. The red player, Haywood Chandra, from Serbia is in the fifth position. And finally, the white player, Velma Kruger from South Korea is in the sixth position. Settings for the game, as previously mentioned, you can find them here. The portals are unstable. Fog is on, blizzards off, alliances off, automated AI behavior. You can see the rest of the settings there as well if you need to pause and take a look. So we don't see white's actions here. This might give us an opportunity to actually fortify some of our material over through the portal to create an additional position, but we'll see. Well, oh, takes us out of there. No problem. Not an issue whatsoever. Um, all right. So we'll leave our seven here. These two group up. We play a two position game and try to spread out just a little bit if we need to. Blue does not yet have Australia. But he very well might be going for it here on this next turn. Given the commitment of troops down there. That would be my guess. Bonus is going to be very hard to hold with the portals on this map. Doesn't lose anything on that roll. Does he keep going? He is going to keep going. This could be dangerous for him. Oh, did he just come through the portal and take South America? Instead, that would be absolutely bananas. Okay, uh, let's go two here, one here, attack up into this portal. White has a 10 down in Australia. Okay. So blue just probably sat that seven next to there. We have a five of the bot in North America, and we see red's eight here. 
I will sit on the portal with my 10. Assume we don't get whacked on that. That would be very unfortunate if we did. Um, this is probably Red's largest uh, stack, most likely. But I'm off to a decent start. I don't hate my positioning. I, I would prefer something over on the left-hand side of the board. But it's not the end of the world with the portals that we have. Does yellow go for Africa here? Or does he sit tight? Because this is probably all of yellow. If not, maybe one or two territories elsewhere. No, he's gonna he's gonna wait to fully take that bonus. Which I think is the right play, but the way the portals shake out, it's gonna make holding bonuses a little bit more difficult. So the bot commits over in North America. Attacks seemingly once, maybe twice over there. Red obviously getting three a turn. Everybody should be on three a turn here. Red commits everything up next to me. Okay, and, and attacks up. And sits, yep, okay. And then actually fortifies, so you had a one up here on your kuts. Um, I don't like sitting next to Red's biggest stack. That's not my favorite thing. White attacks down. See, I, I think does either white goes for South America here or he fortifies that through the portal to his big stack. No, he fortified the big stack over, so he's going to let blue have Australia. Okay. That is interesting. That is very, very interesting. Hmm. Let's blue have Australia. I don't know if I would have been so nice about that, but maybe he knew that blue was going to be determined to go for this bonus, which I suppose is, is actually pretty smart. You don't want to risk the loss of that many troops if you don't need to. I'm going to try to get these positions as far apart from each other as possible. So I think I'm going to take my take. I'm going to commit everything into the middle here, take my take on red at the top. And fortify up. Because the big threats, right? It white's huge stack down in the bottom left. We obviously have red near us. Um, but we will attack up. Don't lose anything. We have quite a bit of blue right there. Now we got two, two large stacks that we're playing with right now. And we have a set on three if we need it. And yellow... Seems to be off to a good start. Probably, uh, my guess would be, takes his bonus with the split. Fortifies the two down. They should take it off that side. I, I don't know about that one. I think I would have preferred to attack off the seven since you already have the three here and pull down. Leave the six on the left hand side. But... Because now you've buried your 7, right? He should fortify the 7 up to the 3, or maybe even fortify it down onto the portal. I actually think fortifying it down onto the portal is probably the even better move. And that might be what he's doing. Nope, he's going to fortify the Middle East onto the portal. Interesting. Or does he pull that down? No, he's going to pull it down onto the 7. So the 7's completely locked. The 7 that we saw there. It's, uh, it's completely useless. By the way, uh, speaking of people that aren't completely useless, it's new subscribers to the channel. We got Silco Barnes, Harrison Sturgeon, and Manny Gonzalez. To the three of you, thank you very much for subscribing. I actually may, maybe covered Manny in, in yesterday's video or, or a couple days ago. Uh, but to, to Harrison and Silco, thank you much for subscribing to the channel. I greatly appreciate your presence here. And, uh, and if you want to get a shout out in an upcoming video, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and make sure you have public subscriptions on. And you'll get the shout out that you so deserve. Yeah, red sits on a portal here. So this allows Red to... Red might have material in North America that he's trying to group up to, given that we didn't see him anywhere else on the board. Or it's possible that the bots wiped him out of there, and that's really all he has left. But I, I would imagine he's trying to get this over, over to there. 
So blue likely has Australia now. This is going to be white taking South America. Uh, and we saw yellow take Africa. So these players playing for bonuses, but I don't think bonuses are the main concern in this game. I, I think that that's going to end up not mattering a whole lot. Um, it's going to be a matter of, of does the bot get fed? And uh, yeah, mostly just does the bot get fed? <laughs> so we got the two here that... Uh, Oh, so blue trades in early. Interesting. Blue's biggest stack in the bottom right is not outward facing. Trades on three in a progressive cards game. That is certainly bold. I could get two additional troops on Southern Europe, Southern Europe if I wanted to, but I don't think that's going to be my best play. Blue attacks out from his bottom position. So now he has the decision, does he want to fortify his big stack up or leave it buried? I would have attacked off of one of the fours and threes up here. No, he, he's going to bury his troops. So, he, so Blue's a completely ineffective attacker here. Um, I am going to go sit on the portal. We see white. White's... White seems like a pretty smart player. I respect the play that they're playing here. But yellow might go for them. No, yellow's going to take Southern Europe here. That stinks. I was really hoping I might be able to hold that plus two, but not going to be the case. So we see a little bit of orange in North America, not sitting on the portal. And we'll be able to gain some actual important information from this. If Orange somehow has this bonus, we know this is Red's last position. If Red doesn't trade in, we trade in and kill him after this next turn. We, all right, so Orange does not yet have this. Um, but a potential kill on Red might be available. Although we can't bust through the portal, right? If he gets over there, he's pretty much home free. He very well might feed the bot, though. If he you know trades in early, goes for the kill on the bot... Or just goes for the kill on the bot anyway through the portal here. I imagine he's... Yeah, he's going to go through the portal. He loses one. Does he keep going? No, he's just going to sit. And he doesn't fortify anything. So he's in North America. He's gotten over there. But at what cost? Bots on four cards. Ooh, white's going to get... White goes actually into the bot. So we know yellow's down here at the bottom. White down here. Did white get plus two there? White did get an additional plus two. Uh, trade in, kill the bot. The only way I would even have a kill on the bot is if somebody opened me up here after the trade-in. I'm going to position myself for it. And, and actually, the best way, I think, to position myself for it is to hit and sit on this Japan portal so that I can attack through up here. But the bot might just trade in. That's going to be the downside, is the bot very well might just trade in. But I think we wait till five to... Uh, we're going to try to sit on five cards here. White very well might go for a kill on me if he's got it. Blue card skips. Bot's out. Blue is botted. Okay. I'm not going to trade in. I don't think... I think there's still going to be too much bot material in North America. So, hello, Fergus. Good boy. Red very well may get this kill. But if the bot trades in on four, then it's not really much of a concern. Um, so, we're sitting on this portal now. And with blue botted, we're actually going to get the first move off of a portal... Of anybody. 
So this actually, if red doesn't trade, the kill on red actually may very well be available. Yellow's move here also might open me up to the bot. No, he's going to remove the bot. That's the bad play. That might give... If the bot doesn't trade, red's going to kill the bot. This I don't like that play at all by yellow. I, I think you leave this here until you can confirm that you got that kill. Fergus is here supporting us. The orange bot does, in fact, set in on four. Which, if red does not set in, this could T-ball the kill of red for us. This also does set us up for a potential kill on the bot in a future turn. We have a bunch of horses. We actually, Kamchatko is an option. We would have had the plus two there if the bot didn't hit me. Um, we need to be able to hit, what, one, two, three territories up here of red. Because the portal was on Afghanistan before. He does not trade. just sits so it's probably about a 15 16 stack over there we can come off the 11 to kill him here orange trades in so we're gonna get what eight yeah oh he moves and that had to have hit red so that hopefully he hit afghanistan that should make the kill a little bit easier so what we know no red bottom right no red down here, no red down here. We have orange on the portal. So we have to come through on the two up here and have enough juice to take him out. And we're going to get the eight trade. Plus an additional two. That hits yellow. I think there's a kill on red available. It might be a little expensive. We can always stop if we need to. I'm gonna hold on to Kamchatka for now. Ooh. Oh, we got a great roll on that. It is and we stay pretty self-contained there and we will be on five cards on the next turn so i can potentially position myself i don't want to die to white and the bot won't be able to set in we can actually potentially force the bot into white but i think i stack everything up um, we'll leave the six up here. White's not on a portal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit up here. I don't think I can kill yellow. No. Let's sit up here like this with a 23. And we have a joker. Oh, we are well positioned right now. Obviously, neither of those players is set in. But we have a set without the joker. This is looking good. I... Got a good roll on red there. The 18 on 14. We only lost six in the 18 on 14. That is bananas. Okay, I'm moving the map around too much. Do apologize there. We just need to make sure white can't kill us. Hopefully yellow's paying attention enough to numbers, but the fact that he stacked up all of this here, he might very well might be trying for a kill on me. What's he going to... Just going to hit white. Because hitting white out of the right side here, it's totally fine. I'm hoping that white... White could go for a kill on the bot here. It wasn't worth it for me. Alright, he's going to see my big stack. And he'll sit there. That's fine. I think yellow's going to... Yellow's pretty well positioned for second place here. Um... We need the bot to spread out as much as possible. Because I want this kill for white to be a little bit more difficult. But white very well could double set off this and potentially sweep the board. If he's smart enough. 
because the bot is not very strong. Although I do have this one here. This one might save me on Scandinavia. 31. Oh, he hits blue. Why would you hit blue? All right, that's fine. I am totally okay with that. All right, so we kill the bot. He might not know where all of blue is. We kill... Because he came off the portal here. He doesn't have this at all. All right, we kill orange, we kill blue, we kill white, we kill yellow. That's our ordering here. Every kill will set us in. Um, yeah, orange first, then blue, then, then white, then yellow. And I'm not, the portals aren't opened on this turn, but I can't give these guys the opportunity. I simply can't give them the opportunity. Maybe we kill blue first. All right, we set in, this is the 20. I'm not sure if he took all of blue out of the bottom orange is a clean path right but I'm gonna lose let's go nine and then we can go down this way I'm gonna put 10 over here and then the rest here all right that should work um, I just need to have enough I guess we killed blue first. That's fine. That sets me in. And a set without the Joker again. Which is delightful. Um, so we hit orange here. I'm trying to maximize... My turn timer. Kill orange. We go into white off of this. Is that another set without the Joker? It is not. We have to use the Joker. Mongolia, Japan, Sc I think Scandinavia is the only one that actually uh, is open. Yeah, it's open here. We're just going to come off this side. Um, and uh, what's that? down there and then this should be a nice clean chain of every kill but red on one turn that is delightful we trade in off of that and that should be the game good game well played good luck thumbs up yeah. I'll just make sure I'll slider these just in case and we chain everybody together except for right on that last turn what a beautifully articulated game i just i there's not many games where i feel like i didn't make a single mistake not many games and i feel like this is one of them where i just really don't think i made a mistake at all i think i played it pretty much flawlessly and i'm really glad with how that played out um obviously would have preferred if orange and blue didn't bot out but it is what it is we got beginners all around in the blue player the novice so um not the most experienced lobby but some of those players had potential i like the way that yellow played um i think white probably should have targeted orange over blue but target prioritization is, is something people can get better at so uh the the door is is wide open for both the orange and yellow players to to improve at the game for sure or sorry the uh, white and uh, and yellow players i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did hit that like button down below subscribe if you haven't already i upload videos just like this one every single day comment down below what you thought about it if you want to catch a video that youtube recommends for you right here above my head the subscribe button in the upper right hand corner as always everybody I have been C-Money. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a tremendous rest of your day. Peace.